I've spent a total of six weeks or 29 days day trading small cap stocks using 15 years of experience. Uh, I've been waking up at four o'clock in the morning for six weeks from four o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. and I have till 8 p.m. for 14 hours every single day um, with $1,425 to my name uh, that I wired to trade zero. And I've been trading that for six weeks every single day for 14 hours trade and I want to let you know what I have learned from trading this vast amount of time every single day for 14 hours with my broker statement and I want to share this information with you as well as invite you to join me to make a lot of money with a very small amount of money uh, each and every day in my private discord stay tuned and make sure you uh, see the whole video Welcome guys, welcome to my stream. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my broker statement and also go through each of my thoughts of how we're gonna do this, uh, what kind of slide I presented for you guys and uh, how exactly everything works. As you can see here, this is my broker and uh, we're gonna go see here. So lately I actually did wire to my broker. You're gonna see just in a little bit here how, how much exactly I did wire. Uh, you can see I pretty much put $1,425, a very small speculative position. And uh, from uh, December 20th up until January, you can see so here that, you know, these are kind of like my profits. If I were going to look uh, first day, red day, green 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 day. And then what things started getting pretty uh, nasty on uh, January 18th. Um, 19th, 10th, uh, 11 and 12. And you can see, so here after uh, I had a bad losing week, I pretty much recovered, recovered, recovered. And after that, you know, it was just a little bit of a reddish, um, experience for me. So this is, uh, I ended up generating about a $3,300. This is kind of like all my trades. I ended up generating around $3,300 in commission. And um, uh, we're going to go talk about all about it, you know, $3,300, $3,100 in commission. And we're going to talk all about it in my small trading account uh, challenge that I pretty much set up for you guys here. So, you know, what I specialize in, uh, like you've not already know, uh, I studied the overall market and I, I uh, pretty much um, uh, study how to make a lot of money with a very small amount of money. I literally woke up every single day for the past six weeks from around a four o'clock in the morning up to six to eight p.m. So I know exactly where to put your small amount of money, which most of you people have potentially a thousand to two thousand bucks and how to make the most amount of bang for the buck. So this is kind of like why I made this. You know, this was my experience. You know, you can see that multiple times I was able to, to you know, double or triple a $1,500 play money account and but until you know but I have gotten some uh, hiccups along the way you're gonna see at the end of the video how everything worked out so we're gonna start out with the slides and we're gonna start out you know making it simple what I have to share with you guys and how you can take advantage and how you can learn from me so this is pretty much uh, the nice thumbnail here this is how much exactly I wired to trade 0 1420 broker statement and uh, I've been basically trading for six weeks, 14 hours of work every single day from 4 a.m. to 6 p.m. I have over 15 years of experience trading in small cap market. This is what I have learned. And you're going to see uh, what I have to teach you and uh, how can you pretty much make a lot of money uh, with, uh, you know, your your small trading account and, and why you should listen to me. So first off. My schedule, I pretty much wired uh, 12, 1425, a very small speculative position uh, to trade zero on December 25th, 2023. Uh, my schedule was 30 days, 30 trading days. I was waking up at four or seven o'clock in the morning and I was going to sleep at six to eight p.m. Uh, this is a very strong, this is a very, uh, very strict schedule. 
and very long schedule, but I have scanners that I've built and I'm able to see about everything what going what goes on in the small cap market. You know, that doesn't include options. I do not trade options. I trade very small cap securities. And, um, you know, sometimes I do trade options, but that's not really what I have done. So this is this is the perfect time to trade. I want you guys to understand that this is a universal perfect time for me to teach you guys when you should be trading. You can see so here from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. trading. It's only good for trading during the hot market. Multiple times during this time, you have multiple 100% gainers in the pre-market. You have most amount of range. And 20 or 10 to 20% of my profit came from here, waking up from 10 to 20%. Uh, and, and I was having plays, let's call it, I don't know, two to five days out of the week or maybe one out of two to two to 10 days out of the week. Uh, then I also, most amount of money that I was able to make was between 7 o'clock a.m. and 10.30 a.m. This was a good time for trading and it's a good time for trading in both hot and cold market. You're focusing on the top three top gainers list. Uh, right now what we're dealing with, uh, we are in a very much a lower liquidity market. If you don't already know that. A low liquidity market that means uh, these uh, small cap securities aren't getting as much buys and sells and um, you know you're gonna have if we're in a cold market you're gonna have to focus on just the ones that have higher liquidity and what I've discovered so far that only between 7 a.m. and 10 30 a.m. Uh, you know you, you're gonna see the top three top three top gainers if you look at the top gainers list each and every morning say you're gonna have it on web bull or you're gonna have on trade ideas which I use the first three you know all group by percentage gains are usually the one that will provide you the most liquidity I've discovered that 70 to 80 percent of my profit came from here I have a 65 to 75 win rate and four out of five days out of the week um, there were a lot of movers during this time and I was able to make money. I do not recommend trading these gainers when they're not over 30% on the day because that will give you an idea of what a, what a cold market it is. Between 10.30 and 4 o'clock trading, I found out that 20% of the time I won and 40% of my losses came after 10.30. Only during a hot market there were movers here and there weren't that many. You can count them on your fingers during the middle of the day in which we had movers and um, there weren't that many. From 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. after market, I have found that many of the spikers, but many, many we had many aftermarket movers, but most of them have faded. Uh, if the stock does not have news, I'm probably not interested in it. You need and you need very healthy news for the stock to keep going earnings deal money contract etc so this is like your perfect time this is your universal kind of deal uh so basically i found that most of my money that i would be making was between 4 a.m and 10 30 a.m uh next thing we're gonna look at you know what is the difference between a hot and a cold market it's basically when your top gainers are over 30 percent that would be a hot market uh, from 4 a.m to 7 a.m trading you should be waking up. So basically, you, you want to figure out whether or not you're in a hot market. If your top gainers are over 30%, you are in a hot market. You should be trading between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. And sometimes and, and most of the time, 9 out of 10 times, 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., you should be trading, but you should not be burning out. 10.30 uh, to 4 o'clock, you should be watching the market during this time. And I found that during a hot market, only three out of five days, there were a home run opportunity. What I like to discuss about a home run opportunity is, you know, stocks that give more than 20% profit. But is it you need to be extremely picky during 10.30 and 4 o'clock um, uh, during this time to trade. From 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in a hot market, the stock needs to have news and there is an opportunity to make money only two out of five days in this week. Now we're gonna we're gonna talk about the cold market. What what a lot of people have then never really taught me uh, in trading. Uh, I've been trading for a long time, and nowhere nowhere in all my gurus that I have ever listened to, and I've listened to a lot of guru tells me how to trade when I'm in a cold market, when in a hot market. It makes a tremendous difference what market you're in. 
So in this situation, a cold market involves when the top gainers are less than 30%. From 4 to 7 a.m., you should not be trading during this time. I found that there's no range and people are not waking up. From 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., I found that you need to be extremely picky and only pick the best top three gainers, uh, that which are the most liquid ones, and you should be shutting it off after 10.30. From 10.30 to 4 p.m. trading, you should not be trading. From 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., you should not be trading. This is kind of like... You know, my my guide of what kind of market I'm in and what what kind of market, you know, this is your perfect way of trading during this time. Since we're dealing with a low liquidity market as of this time in 2024, you need to have, you know, um, it's more like you go to the gym and it's cold out and you're tired and you go to the gym and you're full of fully rested. You need to optimize you know, what, you know, you need to optimize and you do need to do the minimum for your body. You do not need to burn it out, but you need to provide optimal growth for your muscles or optimal growth from your trading account. So this is kind of like what I found out that your perfect timing should be sometimes between four and seven when it's a hot market, but definitely between seven and 1030 when it's a hot market, sometimes when in 1030 to four and sometimes from four to six. A uh, hot market, I've, I've said it before. Cold market, I've said it before. Now, we're going to go and look at my trading. Like, you know, uh, I have actually did send some money to my brokerage. And uh, I actually, um, you know, I'm going to discuss, like, if I were profitable during this time or I was not profitable during this time. So, type to market I was trading in. As you know, at the last week of December, it's usually a hot market. So, I was trading between... Uh, Christmas time during this time and I was trading also between during the first week of January during this time it was considered a hot market when gainers are over 30 percent so I was mostly profitable during this time market was okay some movers there were lots of range and uh, we had a few aftermarket stocks mostly what I did focus during this time where floats underneath 1 million, and I pretty much was profitable during this time. We're going to go through my equity curve of what I've experienced with my small account of 1,500 that I pretty much uh, traded, and uh, we're going to go the type of market I was trading it. As you can see, so between January 8th and 19th, the overall market, the SPY, was in a very tight range, and the top gainers were not over 30%. I fighted a cold market and lost my profit, and I made some of this profit back, but it was after, you know, I was spending 10 to 12 hour shifts uh, trading these uh, securities. Uh, type of market I was trading in between January 22nd and February 1st, I ended up trading that the market was either warm or hot. Uh, overall, the market spy was surging. I made some money during this range, but not enough for what I've lost. I ended up burning out and lacking focus, discipline and being extremely tired. So I traded the first two weeks of the last week of December, the first week of January. I was completely uh, consistent. Then the, the first, the, sec, the, the second week of January and the third week of January, the market got into a very cold market. And then I traded between 22 and the first. But, you know, I was a little bit burned out of trading in a very cold market, which was over here. So... Uh, between during this time between the 22nd and the first I ended up burning out lacking focus deep discipline and being extremely tired so now we're gonna go through my uh, account performance as you can see you know I actually did wire this is a very small account trading challenge uh, for me and for everybody that has fifteen hundred dollars or a thousand dollars to their name and I want you to I want to show you like what you're going to experience the ups and the downs of trading and how you can maximize your profit and you can see that during a hot market time i was able to get this 1500 dollars account up to 5500 and then as as i lost balance as i you know uh as i was not uh as i lost uh, endurance or got into a cold market i had a withdraw i had a withdraw back down to over here in January 12th and then we got back up to about 3500 and then we got back down to 15 and then we got back to 25 and then slowly as you know my stamina has depleted I ended up pretty much going down 
Uh, this was my actually my account performance. I ended up generating around $3,300 in fees. Um, as you can see that during this time, during about, you know, 16 hour, uh, 16 hour shifts. Um, and, um, I actually, I do not recommend you guys doing it, but I'm able, I was able to see everything of what is going on and trade this very tiny account as I wished and how I really wished and how I, you know, would have done it if I had very little money to my name. But, you know, you can see that I generated more than twice amount of broker, uh, twice amount of, uh, fees that actually I did end up wiring to this brokerage account. Uh, we're going to go talk about, you know, what actually went wrong in my trading. Um, you, 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 the things you might experience during your trading is something called emotional burnout. Uh, you know, when you go from 1K up to 5.5K, back down to 1.5K, back up to 3.5K, back down to 1.5K. And then so I was having a, a very interesting emotionally burnout. And then you're back to 1K and you pretty much lost focus. So I was able to see the whole market every single day for six, uh, six, um, six, sixteen for for about six weeks. Um, then uh, it was what what other things that w went wrong. It was an unusual cold market in January. Market sentiment was very cold. Uh, you you probably already know that. You know, in two thousand twenty four, we we're expecting a very strong bull market. And uh, we had that in the overall market, but you know the retail traders weren't really that you know weren't really that rewarded with a lot of you know thousand percent gainers or something like that. So the market sentiment was cold between the, actually the most optimal times in which I used a hundred percent of my you know a um, hundred percent of my you know power bank, and um, I actually fought a market during a cold market and I actually lost. Uh, swinging four to cent multiple times, nothing seemed to work. So after I took one to two through three losses in a row, I ended up pushing for seven to ten small losses in a row the same day. So, you know, what you want to learn from me and what you want to learn from trading is that, you know, trying to figure out like which market you're trading. I was able to, to uh, you know, I had a really good start in a first, you know, in a very hot market. I'm able to make a lot of money in a hot market, being disciplined, uh, being, um, uh, being um, focused, and uh, you know, being in the right market at the right time. Uh, you need to have, you know, you need to respect uh, the perfect time to trading small cap security. Right now, we are in a much, you know, low liquidity market for small cap securities. But, you know, but if you, I, I'm able to capitalize on, you know, 10, 20% multiple times on multiple tickers. That's how, that's how I was able to grow so quickly, uh, my equity curve in the beginning. But, you know, once we ste stepped into a cold market here, uh, I was unable to, you know, if you trade in a cold market, I was unable to sustain those gains because, you know, we are very dependent on whether or not the top gainers get over 30% or not. So, you know, my lesson to you guys is that, you know, what I want you guys to understand that even though, you know, my $1,420 didn't really reach uh, what I really wanted, it was a really good experience to get me to understand, you know, what each of you guys are going through. Um, right now, I I trade a lot of, uh, you know, I trade through other brokerages, uh, but, you know, I wanted to experience, I wanted to experience uh, and uh, want, I wanted to understand uh, what each of you guys are going through. Uh, a lot of people do not have, you know, thirty thousand dollars to their name, and uh, they do not. And it's very hard uh, to 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 multiply a very small account, especially a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. is very very difficult to come from a very this small account to grow it to a five to ten to fifteen k account and you're going to need to have rules and you're going to need to have regulations and you need to trade the right tickers and you need to trade them at the right time. What I found beneficial to me uh, throughout and what I have learned during this time, even though my account has been um, 
you know, even though I was waking up each and every day and trading every single day, I was here from seven, from four o'clock in the morning to six p eight p m, and I was watching my scanner and watching the top gainers and watching these multiple monitor setup, and me thinking, how can I make a vast amount of money with very small amount of money? And the truth of the matter is, is like you need to wait for a hot market um, because. You need this amount of energy, th this vast amount of energy to grow this small account. And uh, the opportunities are very small. When we are in a hot market, you still do need this humongous amount of energy bank to grow this small account. And then opportunities get a little bit smaller. What I want to get you guys to see is to understand that you know it can you can see my my spreadsheet here which I'm going to put um, as you can see you have a zero so I pretty much took every single I pretty much took every single top gainer over a hundred percent and uh, you know your challenge from going from a two thousand dollar account to a fifty thousand dollar account it's very hard. I put in every single ticker over a hundred percent, you know, from from the first, from the last week of December and the first week of January. As if I if I were gonna say we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stocks that were up a hundred percent, and I'm gonna post this to you and I'm gonna show you. As you can see, so here in my drawing, we had poll that went from ten to ten. Nexi that went from 5 to 15, Ching that went from 3 to 12, we had Le, Le Yi S, SMFL, Saidu, SNTG. So you can see so here that you had, if I were going to were gonna um, uh, calculate this, you had a 0 0.0007 chance of buying a stock and it will double and triple on you. That is actually, you know, the statistics. You have a zero point. Let me let me let, let me get that sinking into you. Zero point zero 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 seven percent chance of buying a stock, and it doubles on triples. Then you triples on you. That is kind of like what you're dealing with in this uh, a little bit cold, lower liquidity market of small cap stocks. I was quite successful during this time. Um, I'm a successful small cap trader, even in a cold market. I do track my data and uh, I'm, I'm continuously getting better each and every day. But I want you guys to understand that, you know, with my help, uh, you will be you will make a lot of money with a very small amount of money. With my help, you will. But I want you to understand that, you know, without a mentor and without a guru, um, your chances are very, very slim of survival. 95% uh, of traders fail, and even professional traders fail. Uh, they don't. They fail with a very small amount of money. Uh, but you know, I was I was able to sustain trading with a very small amount of money, like fifteen hundred dollars, and I was able to grow up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm telling you, like, after I lost the last $500 into that account, it felt like I lost, like, two BMWs or, or something. I lost, like, a huge amount of money of $55,000 or something like that. And it was only $1,000. And um, I want you to understand that sometimes, like we are right now, we are right now in a much more, it's an, an extreme uh, cold market. In 2021, 2022, we were in an extreme hot market, and right now we are in an extreme cold market. And uh, all those, all, all my followers and all my YouTube followers that are taking in notes and understanding, like, w and are learning from me, are going to be profitable during. Are going to be very profitable, and you're going to make tons of money if you listen to my, um, you know, advice and understand, like. This small account doesn't mean like the end of my career or anything like that. But I want, but I wanted to put myself into your shoes to see what it's like for you to start out with fifteen hundred in the stock market, and I wanted to understand 
personally and physically how difficult it is for you to grow this small account to a 10, 20, $100,000 account. So, you know, you might want to watch all my 2,300 videos that I have on stock trading because based on my data that I have collected throughout the years, uh, you have a 0 0.0007 chance of buying a stock that doubles and triples. I'm able to find the securities each and every day and trade during my optimal times. As you can see, trading during my optimal times, I win 70 to 80 percent. Uh, I, I have a win rate between 65 and 75 percent, four out of five days per week between 7 a.m. and 10.30 each and every day. That is my win rate. That is something that I have. And because I'm focusing on stocks that are liquid, I'm focusing on stocks that that I have news. I, I focus on stocks that are moving. I'm focusing on stocks that 90% of traders and, and retail traders and expert traders that made millions and millions of dollars uh, are focusing on. I share these ideas freely. Sometimes I do it on my live streams. Sometimes I do it, um, you know, talking about in my pre-market prep. And a lot of people have made a lot of money. But if you want the key to success, this is your key to success. Come in between 7 a.m. and 10.30 and do not trade gainers when they aren't over 30%. Because it, as you know, you, you can be profitable. Don't get me wrong. You can be profitable trading at 4 o'clock in the morning, definitely in a hot market. You can be profitable after 10.30. You can be profitable after 4 p.m. sometimes. But the problem is it's not that you're going to be profitable. You'll be profitable, at, let's call it 3 out of 20 days by trading, you know, from 4 o'clock in the morning till 7 a.m. You will be profitable, let's call it three days out of 10, 10 days from 10.30 to 4. You will be profitable, say, two out of 10 days uh, for, you know, after 4 p.m. But due to the fact that we are human and we don't have machines, we are not animals. Uh, we, are, uh, we are not machines that can click buy and sell within millisecond. Um, millisecond we cannot make millisecond decisions and we you, we can buy a stock for half a point and make one penny or two pennies within a fraction of a time we are going to have to be limited and trade against other retail traders due to the fact that the market had we are living a very low liquidity market in which the market is sadly cold which it has been in the second week of january and third week of january i was unable to grow this account uh, more than more than that much. I have gathered a lot of experience. I, I tested and back tested all my scanners. I'm able to see things and smell things miles away. And I shared this knowledge, even though for some of you can see that this is a loss, for me is actually a win because I have the data and I have the experience and I know what to do and what not to do. And this data that I'm sharing with you can save you hundreds if not thousands or tens of thousands of dollars because I've seen many individuals make 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars and then lose it in a week or two just because the market has changed. And I have done it personally just now. And uh, that is not something to be joked about. That is something very realistic of, you know, if you do not do not, you know, if you get in yourself in a cold market, and you make the wrong decisions and you over trade and you, you know, you are tired and exhausted and you step in a boxing ring with not, you know, not, not respecting rules. I mean, even as a professional trader for 15 years, this is a normal, this is a normal uh, curve that your account is going to go into. If you do not listen to the rules, if you do not listen to the knowledge, if you do not, you know, if you treat your thousand dollar like a lotto ticket, I mean, this is what you're looking at. I hope this video was helpful. I trade every single day during these times in which, you know, I'm very profitable during these times, 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. And I, I do not trade on days in which gainers earn over 30%. I have a win rate between 65 and 75% between during these times. 
In four out of five days a week, there were movers in which I have over 500 slides in which I have back tested multiple, multiple slides. As you can see, so here, I have multiple slides of every single day for the past two years. Uh, let's see if I can I can show you guys here. Um, I have I have I have this is these are like all my trades for the past two years of uh, of pretty much pretty much you know e every single trade for the past two years. I'm very successful at what I do, but I'm only successful during if the stocks are liquid. This is what I want you to understand. This is all my data. Every single day, I have over 500 slides uh, over here. Uh, 500 slides. Uh, just, 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 just every single, every single stock, every single small cap stock that moved for the past two years. I know how to trade it. I have seen it. I've studied it. I have know how to do it. But if you do not follow rules, and if you, if you get yourself outside of the trading hours like say 4 to 7 a.m. and you are burned out if you're trading the algos after 10 30 if you're trading after 4 p.m. and you're burned out if you trade in a cold market over here and you fight a very cold market and you trade for 10 to 12 hour shifts i mean your equity curve can look like this and this is a this is a very prime example because this is such a very small amount of sum of money. I was able to grow this small amount of money in very quick amount of time. Multiple times in which I gotten from 1500 to 5500, then back to 1500, and then back to 3500. I'm good at what I do in which which is turning a very small amount of money, uh, you know, up 10%, 20%, 30%, and there's no wonder that, you know, uh, you should all be, you know, aiming to take your small account up to 100K or 150K or something very high. But, you know, you will. I'm very good at what I do. But if you fight, but if you're going to end up, you know, if you over trade, you can see that I generated around 3,200 in commissions. That is more than twice. <laughs> that is more than twice. This is more than twice of what I originally wired. So my strategy works, no doubt about it. But you should not, you should be following the rules and not burning out, not trading in a cold market, not swinging for the fences. Um, this is just a very small amount of money. This is not, but I wanted to understand like what it is everybody is dealing with when you don't have any money to your name. You don't have a hundred dollars to go to a restaurant. You don't have fifty bucks to to get yourself a new pair of shoes. This is what you're gonna be experiencing. If you want to survive and you want to make a lot of money, you want to watch all my videos. And I've calculated, as you can see, so here, based on all the movers that happened in the last of last week of December and first week of January. You have a 0.0007% chance of buying a stock randomly and having double or triple on you. That is the percentage you're going through. Because this is, these are all the stocks that went up over 100% in like the first, you know, uh, as of last, last December and last January. They're not that many. You can count them on your fingers. You need to focus on trading once or twice a day. And you need to focus on the stocks that are I am trading once or twice a day. Because if you deviate from that plan in the cold market, you know, this might not look like this might be you. This might be you. And it's not going to be $1,000 lost in one month, which feels like I lost two twenty thousand that that I lost $60,000 or three Mercedes. This can be you with a thirty forty thousand dollars account, and you might believe, and you might have, you know, two, three, four weeks of it going to zero, and then what? And then what? Because it's it's very easy to come back from a thousand dollar loss and trading for six weeks, but it's very hard to come back from a thirty, forty, fifty, a hundred thousand dollar if you wire your account with that amount of money and with no knowledge.
no experience, that could be your whole life savings. So I partook into this emotional roller coaster of past six weeks. I used all of the knowledge that I had available to my disposal. I lose. I I use all the power that I've had to my disposal, and I've traded a very small account with a very small amount of money. And this is what I have to present to you. I make a lot of money between seven and ten thirty. But if you deviate during that plan and you're in a cold market and you overtrade, your account is going to zero. That is the a warning that I have for everybody out there. Um, and if you do not trade the hottest stock of the day, due to the fact that we're in a low liquidity market, your account does not look good. So if you want to survive and make a lot of money, you know, click the link below and sign up to my Discord and be part of the 5% traders that are still here. Because to me, this is not a big deal. But I want to share you guys the data, the knowledge, the experience, what you should do and how you should do this. Because I do care whether you have that $100 into some algo's pocket or in your pocket. I want you to have that $30,000 in your pocket because frankly, I really hate it when I have to put in even a dollar in some algo's pocket or even 50 cents in some other person's pocket just because I'm breaking some rule or trading at the wrong time or trading the wrong ticker in a very low liquidity cold market. Other than that, it's been a fun time sharing this lovely knowledge to you. This is not a big deal to me, but I hope you learned something and I hope you get ready and I hope you get into my Discord room and, uh, and you know, join me on this challenge because market can flip on you from hot, from cold to hot at any minute. And from co hot to cold at any minute. Until next time, make sure you read fully my disclaimer. And see you all in my next video.